Good evening, um, and happy Friday. Uh, I'd like to share a brief passage from Paul's letter to the church at Rome, uh, 12th chapter, beginning with the 9th verse. And these are instructions from Paul to, to, uh, to that church. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Um, a number a number of instructions from Paul to his church. I think the one that sort of, the uh, verse that sort of jumped out at me this evening was uh, verse 15. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Uh, this is a time of weeping for many uh, both in dealing with the coronavirus and also with the uh, the uh, killing of uh, George Floyd in Minneapolis and the and uh, and 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 others uh, in over this over the over these past weeks um, who who have been uh, uh, African Americans who have been killed. Um, uh, either for, for for minor offenses or for no offenses for for uh, just uh, because uh, for, because they were in the wrong place at the wrong time um, and so, and somebody had a problem with them being there um, so we want to we want to weep with those who weep um, and we want to we want to turn our weeping we want to uh, offer our own uh, weeping as as an offering to God um, God is big enough. God has big enough shoulders to deal with all of our emotions. Um, let us pray. Dear God, we we, we mourn and we weep with all who are suffering in these difficult days from the virus, from uh, from community members killed. Um, for many reasons, Lord, we we weep with those people, and we tur we offer our our weeping, our sighing, our sadness to you. Uh, we turn it over to you as an offering. We pray that you, because we know you are the one who will wipe away every tear. Uh, weeping is for a night, but joy comes in the morning. That is your promise in Scripture, and we hold to that promise in these difficult days. We pray for deliverance from this pandemic. We pray for all who are combating it in medicine and research. We pray that you would guide first responders, that you would touch the consciences of those who have turned away from their consciences, that you would bring repentance to those who need to repent. We pray for all who are working with the public in these dangerous days. We pray for our churches and we pray that you would guide all of our churches and guide Emmanuel Church to know um, how to proceed in this time, uh, in, in this ambiguous time when uh, some are saying to reopen and, uh, and some are saying not to reopen. Um, we are getting conflicting advice. We pray that you would be our guide. All these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.